report about three and a half thousand revs. <laughs> you want to see? Just before the video starts, I just want to give a massive shout out to Vinciro Watches for sending me out this beautiful luxury watch. I am no watch connoisseur, but I do like a bit of bling on my wrist. So this one's part of Vinciro's Bellweather collection. Actually reminds me of the watch I normally wear, which is an Armani digital watch. Emma bought it me for my birthday. Don't know the model, uh, but this is very similar. Love the black strap. Uh, with the rose gold it's also an interchangeable strap so if you don't like the black you can actually change it out for a few different colors the screen's made of a sapphire coated crystal which actually makes it scratch resistant and when you turn the watch around you'll see on the case back that there's three engraved words written in latin which actually means i came i saw and i conquered and as they say rome wasn't built in a day and uh, Vincero have this engraved on the back to hopefully serve as a daily reminder to never settle for anything less than greatness. I really do like the mindset to Vincero. They also believe that luxury shouldn't be defined by price or specs, but more attention to detail and uh, also over promising to customers. So I'll leave a link in the description to this watch. If you don't like this one, they've got a massive catalog. I'm sure they're gonna have something you do like. Hopefully there should be some kind of LLF, you know, uh, cheat code or discount. So. Um, yeah, I'll put you into the video now. Thank you, bro. How you doing? How you doing, Jack? You alright? Yeah, good you, man. Good, bro. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Um, so you've come down in your Jaguar? Yeah, uh, bruv, yeah. Limousine, autobiography? Yeah, autobiography, bruv, yeah. 119,000 pounds? 119,000 pounds, bruv, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's expensive, but we didn't buy it at that. I think mugs buy new cars at that price, bruv. <laughs> nice, it's good. It's uh, 42,000 pounds we ended up buying it for. Okay. Um, after that, there's a company called Vizu, who were Paramount Performance. They do a lot of Jaguar work. They're like the, the sort of the ones to go to in the UK. Right and they've got a 650 conversion. So what it is, is they change the upper and lower pulleys on the supercharger, the whole induct system, um, all the air basically exhaust on the back. We got stage three remap on the gearbox, stage three re remap on the engine. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so it's all right. It's the, it was the point of it, 650 horsepower, sort of 820 torque. What was it in stock form? Uh, 506 horsepower and five, I think it's 540 or 545. Uh, wow. Talk so it puts it up quite a bit, and it's obviously supercharged, isn't it? Yeah, supercharged as well. Yeah, what they sound like because I know some of those other Jags sound insane. Uh, don't yeah, they? Really it's, nice. uh, it's like um, a it's, or it's a mix it's a... between like an AMG and an F type Jag, if that makes yeah. sense. It's uh, yeah, it's, sometimes it's a little bit quiet, and you put your foot down, it just rattles everywhere. And, and you would say that this would stay with an RS6 or possibly oh, oh yeah, without, without a doubt, yeah, without a doubt. Obviously Nick's Sorry, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nick, bro. Uh, well, his yeah. RS6 did, uh, what was it, 11.8? 11.8, and I did 11.7 in this in Santa Pod, which was my best time. And rear wheel um, drive as well. Rear wheel drive, yeah, yeah. Wow, and we, uh, we had the Continentals on it before, and they were terrible with sort of first and second gear. And you obviously saw your videos, put the Michelin Sport 4s on, and it just okay. sticks to the floor now. So I think I'd get probably quicker. So um, obviously it's long wheelbase. Yeah, yeah. It's probably yeah. going to be pretty heavy. Is that going to help with traction? Uh, yeah, it helps with traction. But obviously in the corners you're gonna, it's yeah, not it's gonna not be gonna like an M3 car. sort of thing. But for certain port it must be good, right? Like yeah, yeah, because you can put you can put the power down sort of thing. I've got a few videos on my sort of channel, yeah. and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's not Man's bad. Got a channel, yeah. Yeah, only four, yeah. Vi only four <laughs> videos, brother. No, Man's nothing take big. Over. Yeah, yeah, I wish, brother, I wish. <laughs> but um, okay, so obviously performance-wise, 650 brake, rear yeah. drive. Um, Obviously, it's autobiography. So, what yeah. is autobiography? Is this some autobiography? It's like the sort of S class or Maybach sort of thing, S63 MG. So, you've got reclining seats in the back, massaging seats, you've got free viewing and all, all free tellies. Um, Can you show me some stuff? Yeah, yeah, come in, bro. Come in, yeah, it's like a house, isn't it? Oh, come in, bro. bro. When, you, when you get in the back <laughs> and you lay down, you understand. What's going on in here then? So, I can see wood trimmings, I can see so, wood yeah, dashes. Yeah, you've got the uh, wood that goes all the way around. Um, Meridian sound speakers, they're pretty good. You turn yeah. it up and it gets pretty basic. Leather dash standard or? Um, yeah, leather dash is standard, but the ceiling isn't. They've got leather all oh, the way okay. through. Yeah, yeah. So it goes all the way through. Pan roof as well? Yeah, yeah. 
And you say that this is like yours, your dad's car as well. Isn't yeah, it? so yeah, it's, like it's my old man's car. Right? No, 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 no. He <laughs> he drives it probably three times a week. I end up probably driving it more than he does. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he uh, he loves it, bro. It's just and one of those, isn't it? Unexpected. It's so nice. this is a hundred and ninety thousand pound car. Bro, one hundred and ninety thousand yeah. pound car. We bought it two years old with nine thousand miles on it for forty two thousand pound. Wow. All the seats massage. All the seats recline. The ones in the back recline as well. Um, you got these little sorry. Heated or? Yeah, heated and cooled. Yeah. Um, heated and cooled. But you've got these little bits here. They come out. It's a bit oh, like wow. sort of first class airline seats. Jeez, that's crazy. So you can sort of put it back how you want and then sort of rest and you've got it all the way up, which sort of is more like a hugging you and then you just stick it back. Okay. It's all wooden and heated steering wheel and stuff. Mm. Park, parks itself, it's got a few tricks and bits and pieces like active radar, cruise control and stuff like that. But so yeah. what's the reason for tuning? Because obviously this is like just a complete luxury car. What's yeah, the, why did it's, you get my old man his whole life has always had Jaguars, always had Jaguar XJRs and he wanted his sort of final showboat car and he always wanted this Paramount company to do it up but he could never afford it. So he retired and ended up getting this and he said straight away he said I just want to get it done so he went to uh, Vizu which is Stratford upon Avon I think it is yeah. um, and I spent sort of two days in a hotel up there while this thing was getting tuned and good. yeah it was good man so yeah the wheels what are they like 20 inch wheels uh, 21 21 so. yeah I heard these Jags have got big boots yeah they're not bad Ricky but they're all right you know all right should we jump out take a little spin yeah sounds good and left tradition yeah <laughs> <laughs> Sit in the back, recline, bruv, put a bit of an ITV on, mate, and chill. <laughs> but you were saying as well, your dad's obviously mentioned that um, if I'm to disrespect the car. Oh, yeah. Ba <laughs> basically, my 68-year-old uh, dad gave him a warning of that he's got five seconds of fight left in him. If Ricky breaks the car, he will give him all of it and his walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, no have worry, a nice man. day. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. So you've got digital dials there. It's yeah, I've got, cool, I got digital dials. So you can go onto all sorts of bits and pieces. So I can change it so it's the map. So yeah. you've got the whole map as the, oh, well, the actual yeah, yeah. screen that sort of comes so up. So it's like the Audis, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah, fun. a little bit like the Audis. And this um, gear fob or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, it ejects, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it raises yeah. and lowers. It's quite yeah. cool. You'll find it uh, coming up and sort of going down. There's sort of three or four settings to it. So you can do like a snow setting. Um, and then you've got sport for the gearbox, so you turn it into sport, yeah. um, and then you'll sort of you'll change the, the gearbox. Um, okay, so quicker shifts sort of, and stuff. Yeah, sort of quicker shifts and stuff like that. And then you've got it in sort of race mode. Um, kind of, I call it DEFCON 5. You press that button and it, the car is just ready for everything. It holds the revs. Okay. Um, and it, in my opinion, I can feel the difference between the speed. I drive this quite a lot. Um, so and does the, the throttle become more sensitive? A lot more sensitive, yeah. It's the, 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 the ride becomes a lot harsher. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's still, you know, luxurious if you see where you can still put it all on and drive down the road and be in loads of comfort. Yeah. But it just basically the car sort of just is like, I'm ready for it where we go in. And you say that there was like an even bigger spec than this? Yeah, there's one more, but you have to order it from Jaguar. Um, it sort of, if this is their flagship, that's their flagship with the cherry on top. It's called right. the Ultimate, um, right. and it is it's like a Maybach but for Jaguar. I mean, you've got champagne cooler in the back. You've got a table that come out. They give you iPads. Um, wow. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely mental. It's, uh, this is you can watch Living Life Fast in the back, brother. In with the iPads. back, yeah, you can, uh, brother, You can watch Living Life Fast in the back of this if we hook it up. Where's the massage seats? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll stick you on the massage seats, bro. So whoever's in this seat is just there a boss, basically. Bro, isn't it? Every seat, bro. The boss seat is the driving seat, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the boss seat, bro. Um, but yeah, now the back left so seat as well. You know what? I am a massive fan of this interior, you know that. It's nice, isn't This it? here is one of the most cleanest designs I've seen. Yeah. Like with that the theme weight. that you've got, yeah. it just looks so yeah. uncluttered. Is it an experience? 
expensive car to maintain because obviously yes uh, yes and no i mean we got a service pack with it i, I made my old, old man get it because it's you know the most expensive car we've ever bought so we got the tires the wheels the bodywork the interior all of it's covered it's got a three-year warranty and stuff so we haven't actually paid anything the <laughs> a bit of badness on it is they put the wrong console in it when they made it it was for a three litre tdi version of this so they changed it over they also had to change over two modules and a slave module so that was twelve and a half thousand pounds worth of work we got done for free well you should have asked for compensation that's a violation uh, isn't it? Uh, brother i tell you what jaguar guildford wow the, like they were so good so yeah. good they may have had it for that long they gave my dad a complimentary uh, jaguar pen well it's 60 quid i had a look in the little showroom so you know yeah, and they, yeah. they washed the car they detailed it everything was you know on point is this the best car that you've owned then you oh yeah yeah without a doubt without a doubt this was his sort of showboat he told me i'm gonna get buried in it i said no i'm having it thank you very much <laughs> buried in it most expensive coffin you ever see uh, how old are you I'm 27. 27. So I, but I, I've always had my old man's Jags. Like I got, yeah. I had work vans and work cars and stuff. I had an uh, RX8. That was pretty fun. Yeah. Had the, uh, the higher end one, the 230 PS. How fast have you been in this? Uh, we did 181 on the autobahns. 181. 181, yeah. and it was pushing and pushing and pushing. Like it wasn't going to stop. I genuinely think I'd do maybe close to 200. All it is is the air. All it is is the way it's shaped. It's got the power to do it. Yeah, speedo. I thought you said 150 earlier. No, 150. That's what I was thinking, bro. No, bro, not 150. I wish this did 150 that quick. You get me into those straights, bro. I'm gone. In the corners, I'm like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> well, that's a crazy pull that is. And what do you say? It weighs probably about two and a half tons. Yeah, just under like 2.3, 2.4 tons. This, this is what I don't understand about some cars, you know that? My friends say I'm terrible, bruv. I'm like a and shit. You just see you <laughs> see anything that sounds nice and I'm like, eh. <laughs> bro, this is sick. Yeah, little, like, yeah, probably it's... gives you that. I'm falling asleep here, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's that comfortable. And this is like Shmi level. <laughs> oh no, I wish. <laughs> living life fast wow. enough no exaggeration guys that is mental why is it that fast it's the, the, so, i mean i know it's a lot of power yeah, but you yeah. think that the weight would would no it don't, it's just how much pay literally the power i think the supercharger you get going, put, isn't it? oh you're really. gone but even from bullock you said that this yeah so oh, you're yeah, saying from, this from, is quicker than you done an 11 7 11 oh, 7 at santa pod so yeah i saw nick's video and i was like ah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nick. As much as I like you, bro. Yeah, this is quicker, but it won't be quicker. As soon as Nick gets those upgrades, it'd do me in reverse. It feels faster yeah. inside the car as well. Get a second gear pull, about three and a half thousand revs. This yeah. holds the road very, very well for the size of it. Yeah. Like, when we go around that roundabout, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get him then. <laughs> Too slow. It's nice when someone else can do what he does to all of us boys. <laughs> See that bikey boy? <laughs> oh, look at him ducking down. He's like wind resistance. I didn't think the car would feel fast yeah, because okay. of the weight. Because obviously the build quality is so good. It's just on it. Just wants it, doesn't it? It's like, it's of, can you feel it like nudging forward a bit, isn't it? But that, no, that is, we went to Jaguar and asked them about that and Paramount and bits yeah. and pieces. It's obviously because it's got a standard gearbox. So right. if it's, you're, you're killing it and you're doing it over and over, then what you'll find is uh, it's just the heat in it. 
Right, okay. So gearbox isn't bad as well, it's pretty immediate. Yeah. It's not like super crispy. Oh no, it's not it's, gonna be like bang, bang, it's bang. Not, there's not no massive delay, is it's, it's not a gearbox that's meant for racing sort of thing. Yeah. It's nice on these straights as well. Very, very yeah. easy to drive. Brakes are not overly sensitive, but they, but it stops. Yeah. And it turns as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got really quite good. The steering, the, the steering looks all right. It's not the greatest, but... Well, I mean, obviously, at some point, mid-corner, the weight's yeah, going to take over, course. isn't it? See what I mean? It makes you want, like you said, it makes you want to go to sleep. Yeah. Like I get, like always the time, I'm the driver out of my lot. And I'll get them in the back, we go somewhere, and by the time I'm there, one of them will be asleep. It's like I'm sitting on the sofa, man. When you're in the back, can you hear that? Because when you're in the back, you can talk normally to the people in front, and my friends have backed me up on this, and it sounds like you're in the, they're in your ear. Like, yeah. That's a mic. Yeah. Because I just... Yeah, it's in the back. See? So when you speak so in the back... So when you tap it, it activates it, and then you can hear it turns off, doesn't it? It's not doing it now. There you go, yeah. It's definitely uh, an option, isn't it? To say like the S Class and the Oh yeah, 7 oh, the, series, this right? is, yeah, this is what it is. Seven series, the V12 one, and you know, the S63, the A8, Audi, all of those cars. This is Jaguar's version of it. This is them going, look what we can do. Yeah. And sort of putting it out, and then what we did was to just stick a shitload of power in it and went, yeehaw. I want you to find someone, brother, and just I'm happy, I'm down, I'm calm. I will race anything. I'll race a Bugatti Chiron. <laughs> I, li I don't care, genuinely serious. I still think the best sounding car is uh, the F Type Jag. The F Type Jag, oh, that. Tears really yeah, man. Bruv, it's, there's a, if you get the chance, just type in Hell Jag on YouTube. So this is normal, bruv. This is in drive. This is with no. No. See what I mean about the corners? It's that. Oh, I love it. It's so dirty. Yeah. If I'm bored and on a Sunday or whatever and I've got nothing going on or whatever, I'll take it out for a drive problem. I like scaring people. <laughs> Genuinely, I like, honest to God, yeah. I like finding old people. Scaring the shit out of them, bro. <laughs> it's that in it. You just and they're like, what the? Fuck! It sounds like hell, mate. Yeah. It sounds like. Right, Jake, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you so much for coming down and showing me your car. Uh, guys, if you did enjoy it, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you guys. Skid gear, James. Skid gear, James. Oh, we love a skid gear. Um, and the chassis is so pointy. It's just so over steering. It wants to be. And so cool. Look at that. Big skid. Oh, I just love wanging M3s around. And they make <laughs> lovely everyday cars. And My kettle chip.